everyone welcome to another video in this video we will discuss how we can subscribe for trial version in dynamic 365 first you have to click on sign up here then it will ask are you a partner no so click on no continue sign up process if you are a partner or you are a microsoft employee then the sign up process is different now here we have to provide our email address right we can give our work or school email address or you can give your uh, you know uh, personal email id also right let me give some email id like uh, here and i'm just writing down the uh, email id and let me remember i just forgot it should be a at gmail.com right so uh, once i have given the gmail address i would click next button once i'll next click next button it will give me option to set up the account here it is asking about my name but there so i have to give the first name then last name then business phone number business phone number is required because uh, the system or the platform will send a, a code for activation so i have given my phone number here then i will give my company name here if you do not have any company name then you give a domain name here then choose your company size then you can click on country for region as united states so keep this state as united states because some of the updates are always first roll up for united states so you can further change it later on so once click on choose the area code then you click on send verification code now in the meantime it will send an a verification code to your mobile then you have to give your verification code here after checking your mobile then if you didn't get then you can just try again click on try again so it will again send another verification code now here you can specify the verification code after checking your mobile let me check my mobile yeah i got that so i am providing the verification code then clicking on verify once we click verify if it is incorrect it will show you error otherwise you can re-enter the correct verification code and re-verify again so i am giving the verification code which is recently received then click on verify now it is asking to provide the business name right it will be the domain name uh, going forward so i'm giving my business name and clicking check availability so if it is already there it will ask that it will already exist otherwise it will take it now it is done the next step is creating business identity that means we are creating a user um, on the system by providing the name here and uh, the password and we will re-enter the password as confirm password so this will be the address for login now click i would like to microsoft to share my information checkbox then click on sign in now it will try to set up your instance in background and it will give us a prompt the last step right it will take some couple of seconds now once it is done it will give you the user id the user id is given here admin at the red, uh, dot on microsoft.com then we, you have to keep remember this right we have to log in using this credential now click on let's go once we click on let's go it will take us to the power platform admin center from where we can start configuring environments and uh, you know work on our instance so click on let's go now it is loading for us so it is again ask the sign in process so i have given the new user id i have just created and i have given the password also for that now once i will sign in 
it will click on yes it will let me navigate to the admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com if it will again uh, prompt the sign in you can just click on sign in because this happens for cookie issue in uh, google chrome so now you can see this is the admin power platform opened and uh, it's again asking for sign in so click on sign in it will again take from cookie now it will automatically create my environment in background and if you see the right side you new environment window is opened you can cancel that so this is my environment if you click on admin center you will find dynamics 365 link here once you click that it will open in a new window okay and in the new window it will try to ask me to select which apps you want to install on your instance now i can choose here in the screen let us wait for some, some couple of seconds previously uh, when we tried to subscribe trial version it uh, automatically redirects to instance picker uh, screen but now the uh, the navigation process is changed it it takes us to power platform admin center then we uh, install all necessary apps for our instance so here we got this screen and i can select the apps i require for customer engagement module or i can select all of these then click on complete setup now it will take some couple of seconds then it will be available for us to work on different models like sales customer service marketing and project service and all, all other models that are part of customer engagement wait for a couple of seconds if, if, if you so whatever instance that i have created now uh, it is setting up for the enterprise uh, apps for us but if you want to create a new environment itself and you want to install all your apps then there is another way i will show you how we could do that so let us uh, complete this first so it is setting up our apps on my instance that i have created We'll take some couple of seconds. Now, now it will load the home page of dynamics 365 customer engagement with all apps available in app dashboard right so it will take some couple of seconds also to load it depends on your internet you know internet connection how fast your connection is so it is trying to load for us So some more couple of seconds, we have to wait. Right. Now it will load all of the apps that we have installed as a part of configuration. And it will display me 
in a tiled version right so you can see it is pointing to settings apps then in the apps you will find dynamic 365 custom channel integration cost connected field service customer service all of the all of the apps that are part of my configuration are available here then i can just navigate to any app that i want to uh, open so